Okay guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're taking a look at the BP-50 in Modern Warfare 3 and this is right now, in my opinion, the best assault rifle you can use in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Oh, yeah. So not only is the class built out to be super, super powerful and have really good damage, but also has decent mobility and it's also paired up with the broken flamethrower attachment because if you can get it on your gun, why would you not use it when it's as broken as what it is? If you do want to check out the class that I'm using, you can see it on screen right now. That is the exact class that I am using. But what I'm going to do is jump straight into tier 3 with this gun. I'm not even going to mess about in tier 1 and tier 2 because this gun is so, so good. I want to show you just what it's like in tier 3 and the Dark Aether Zone. So all I'm simply going to do is go ahead and just tier 2 pack a punch it and put on an epic A for tool as I don't have any legendaries as of right now and jump straight into that tier 2 zone so you guys can see just how good this gun actually is. I'm also going to be testing out with mags of holding today as well because I know a lot of you guys do want to see me start using mags of holding more often. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and put mags of holding on this so we can see just how good this gun is especially when it's not going to run out of ammo which is one of the most insane things about mags of holding. I mean, as you can see, it just tier 2 Pack-A-Punch, Epic A for Tool, tier 2 Zombies are just going to get absolutely melted through with no problem whatsoever. We can quite easily just melt through all the Zombies in the tier 2 zone, and this is just going to continue into the tier 3. That's what's so good about this gun. It's actually got a crazy high damage profile, and as we can see, a couple of tier 3 Zombies up in front of us. I'll show you just sort of what damage this can do at tier 2 Pack-A-Punch with an Epic A for Tool on it. Armored Zombie, if I can hit my shots, is going to get dropped nice and quickly. You can see, you can line them all up. No problem whatsoever. You're going to melt through these zombies so, so easily in the tier 3 zone. It really is not much of a problem for this gun at all, which is just actually insane. It's really, really good gun to use. It's a really, really fun gun to use. And like I said, in my opinion, probably one of the best assault rifles in the game as of right now. So, of course, at some point as well, I would upgrade this to tier 3 pack punch because obviously we want to try it at the best. Like I said, also, I've run out of legendary A for tools at the minute. My one's on cooldown for my acquisition, so I can't take it from there. But we're just going to be okay with an epic A for tool. We'll tier 3 pack a punch it at some point. We can carry on testing it out against all the zombies, the bosses, all of that sort of stuff. And you guys are really going to see just how good this gun actually is. Also want to take a quick moment just to appreciate everyone that has been tuning into the zombies content recently. The videos have been doing absolutely amazing. You guys have been leaving some amazing support on them. And I really do appreciate everyone that is tuning into the channel and watching the zombies content that I'm posting. And if you're new to the channel from my zombies videos, welcome in. I appreciate you checking out the channel. I hope you're enjoying the timer and you're enjoying the content. But let's carry on using this BP-50 and you guys will be able to see just how quickly this gun melts through absolutely everything in the tier 3 zone with no problems whatsoever. Again, this is just tier 2 pack a punch. We've not even fully maxed out to a tier 3 yet and it's already doing absolutely insane damage against these zombies. Also, guys, if there's any guns you think are better than this BP-50 or there's any guns you want to see me try in the tier 3 zone, let me know in the comments below and also leave the class setup that you guys do run on your guns and I am more than happy to go ahead and try them out for you guys so you can see me using them and give my honest opinions on them. Because I know a lot of you guys have the certain classes that you enjoy using. You've got some guns that you actually find that are really fun, but maybe not so many people use. Or you've just got a really broken gun with a better class up than what a lot of people have been running as well. So if you do have anything like that, please do let me know in the comments. Because I love trying out new guns in Zombies. I love giving you guys my honest opinions on some classes. So please, if there's anything that you think I should be using in the tier 3 zone, please do let me know what they are. And like I said, leave the class up that you guys run. And I'm more than happy to go ahead and try them out for you guys. Okay, so we've got a Mangler down in front of us. Let's see what sort of damage we can do to a Tier 3 Mangler. Again, it just Tier 2 Pack a Punch. I'll try and just firm some of the damage it's going to try and do to me. My dog is now probably going to get involved with a fight. But, I mean, as you can see, it's really not doing too bad of damage. Again, considering this is only Tier 2 Pack a Punch, we've still got a whole rarity we can upgrade this gun by. I wish I did have a Legendary Aether Tool, because, as you guys will know, most guns do perform a lot better with that Legendary Aether Tool. However, it's not too bad, because we do still have the Epic Aether Tool. Which is still going to actually make a nice difference to how the good gun performs. So I'm not too disappointed by the fact we've only got an epic and not a legendary. It's not the end of the world. But I mean, as you can see here, look at how well this gun just holds off hordes of zombies. That like, really it doesn't have any problems whatsoever at holding off a whole horde of zombies. All tier 3 zombies, armored, normal zombies are very, very easy to get through. It's not going to struggle too much at getting through those. And now we've got a high value target mega abomination. So what I'm going to do is whip out the flamethrower because why not whip out the flamethrower? Like I said, if you've got a gun that you can get the attachment on, why would you not do it? I don't really know why you wouldn't do it, but there we go. Most of its health is gone already. Not going to struggle too much. We can just carry on shooting at it. So there we go, we can just keep firing our flamethrower at it. We should be doing decent damage to the Mega Abomination there, and we will drop it within no problems whatsoever. Having the flamethrower on your gun is just such a broken little cheat code that you guys can use. So if you've got a gun that you can put it on, definitely recommend putting it on, because it just is a very, very good gun to put it on. 
So we've also now got enough cash to go ahead and tier 3 pack a punch. So I'm going to make my way round to that pack a punch machine and get it up to tier 3 so we can really start testing the gun at its highest ability. Okay, guys, here we are, tier three, pack a punch in the gun now, and this is when this gun is really going to start thriving. This is where we're going to really just start melting through any of the zombies that are trying to come near us. We've got a mangler over in that direction. Okay, them two are probably going to take out that mangler, which isn't the end of the world. But we could just melt through absolutely everything now. This is tier three. I'm telling you, when this gun is ridiculously broken at tier three, it is actually insanely broken at tier three. It just melts through everything with no problems whatsoever as you can see it's just going to carry on melting I'm not going to let my dog go down there but now we're up at tier three this gun just becomes absolutely ridiculous it is going to quite easily just melt for everything with no problems whatsoever so i'm also going to go ahead and chuck on the mags of holding now so we've got unlimited bullets in the magazine of course we haven't actually got to reload the gun at any point mega abomination up in front of us let's see what the actual gun can do against the mega abomination rather than using the flamethrower all the time let's see what sort of damage we can do against the mega abomination without actually having to use the broken flamethrower so we've got a mangler that's just been dropped very very quickly i mean we, these dogs are so frustrating they're just always on my back we can just take out a mimic so so easy having them having the uh, mags of holding acquisition on just honestly makes this game ridiculously easy to play so now we should be able to pop the head of this Mega Abomination for the second time round. Let's see if I can do it before it takes me down. And there we go. We just about, literally just about did it before I ended up going down there. So we managed to get down. Mangler there gets dropped with no problems whatsoever. Very, very easy to take that down. Mega Abomination has only got about half health left. Not doing a bad job so far at taking it down. The one thing I want to be a little bit careful of is my ammo count. But we should be good now. I've just picked up a whole load of ammo. So we can just keep spraying towards that head. We'll let it open up a little bit. I don't know the fact someone's doing a spore contract right next to me. I mean, you've not really done me too many favors letting a whole bunch of extra zombies spawn in. But this Mega Abomination's head now should just go if we manage to do enough damage. Let's see if we can take it out. And that should be around about the Mega Abomination are dead. There we go. Absolutely perfect. Didn't take us too long at all. Didn't think the BP-50 done a bad job there. We've got a Mangler in front of us. Let's just see how quickly we can drop a Mangler. Nice and easy. No problems whatsoever. The gun is just a very, very good gun all round. And as you've seen, it can do really, really nice damage to boss zombies, normal zombies, all kinds of different zombies in this game. But I mean, now that this thing's tier 3 Pack-a-Punch, it just destroys everything. Like, literally will just melt through everything in its path with no problems whatsoever I don't even have to ads i'm gonna do really good damage and of course as you've seen you can take down mega abominations in all kinds of different ways you can use the gun or you can use the flamethrower attachment whatever one you fancy using at that particular time you can go ahead and do i mean even there that mimic went down really easy we've got a disciple in front of us which is probably going to get dropped nice and easy like it's just a, such a powerful gun all round so we've got another Mega Abomination high value target, which again, shouldn't cause us too many problems. Like I said, we've got two different ways of taking it down. We have got either using the actual gun itself, or of course, like I said before, we can use the flamethrower. I might go down here, Loki. There's a lot of zombies around me. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. I knew there was a lot of zombies around me. It's not the end of the world. We're going to be absolutely fine. We can get straight back up with no problems. Carry on just spraying at this Mega Abomination. We can let it start charging at us. Might even whip out the flamethrower a little bit, see if we can do an extra damage to it. Just start melting through it a little bit faster there. We can do it about half of its health. So we can then start letting it spray its head. I mean, if you get a little bit of high ground on these Mega Abominations, as you guys know, you're going to do some really good damage to them because they have no other option other than to just open their head and start spraying, at, spraying their lasers at you. So it's a really, really good way of doing it. I mean, the Mega Abomination is already down to like a quarter of its health. So we're doing a nice little job on it so far. Again, we can carry on just spraying at it. Let's see if I can try and maybe hit some critical shots, which... Would definitely help take it down if I can. But it just wants to look like it's going for my dog rather than actually doing any other damage to anyone else. So I can carry on standing here spraying. But at no point am I getting an, even a shot for a critical a critical shot there. So kind of annoying because it's just bugging into the wall trying to take down my dog as of right now. Which is really frustrating. But there we go. That head is going to open up. Let's see if we can pop that one head, which it should do. And then it's not really got a lot of health left whatsoever. There we go. Nice. Good job there. So, I mean, as you've been able to see, you can do really, really nice damage to these Mega Abominations with high value targets. It doesn't really matter what you're coming up against. You can do really, really good damage with this BP-50, which is why I say, in my opinion, it is one of the best assault rifles within this game. I mean, as I keep saying, it doesn't really matter what you're coming up against. You just are going to melt through it. You've seen me do it against Manglers, Mimics, Disciples, Mega Abominations, High Value Targets. The gun just is unreal all round. It's a very, very good gun. It's a very strong gun. It's not going to struggle in any sort of situations. 
So if you're looking for a gun that I think you guys are going to be super, super comfortable with using and just honestly is going to make the game so easy for you, I highly, highly recommend you give this BP-50 a try. Like, the BP-50 really just does make grinding tier 3 very, very easy. Like, as you can see, I'm basically solo in this. Like, I, my teammate's nowhere near me, not helping me with any contracts. Haven't really got anyone around to help me out. It's just very, very easy to run around tier 3. You can do your spore contracts, your control contracts. It doesn't really matter what you're trying to do. You're quite easily going to have to do enough damage to any of the zombies that are coming around you. You can quite easily complete contracts, quite easily take down bosses or any other zombies you're trying to take down. It doesn't matter what you're trying to do within this game. You are going to be able to do it nice and easy. Like, look at how many zombies are here. I don't think at any point I'm going to struggle, to be honest. We can use that just to take out a few more of them. Pop that spore there. And then we're going to have, like, one left. Again, very, very easy to do. The mangler has almost just smashed me into all of them. Now my teammate wants to come along that I'm basically finishing the contract, which I get it. Coming for the rewards. I see how it is. Um, but, yeah, we'll just finish up this contract here with no problems. We can just keep mowing through these zombies that are going to come up the stairs like so. Any ones that want to try it, they're going to be absolutely taken out. No problem. This mangler in front of us. Going to get absolutely dropped if I can keep hitting those critical shots. I just can't seem to get a good angle on it there. But there we go. Mangler's gone down. Just, oh, such an easy gun to use in a tier 3 zone. But yeah, guys. Overall, I genuinely cannot recommend this gun anymore to you guys. It's just such a good gun to use. It's such a powerful gun. It's like... That's why I said to you at the start of the video, I think it's one of my favorite guns to use in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies at the moment. It's just such a good gun to use all round. It's really good against normal zombies, armored zombies, boss zombies. Really does not matter what you are coming up against. This gun is going to absolutely thrive and do really, really good damage against anything. I kind of wanted to go into the Dark Aether Zone, but I don't think anyone else is actually going there. And I don't really want to try and do it by myself because I just don't think it's going to end too well. I'll go up there and see if the rift is open. If it is, I might go ahead and do it. Okay, guys, so the Dark Aether portal wasn't even open, so I don't even have the stuff on me to go ahead and open it. So I'm probably going to finish up today's video here. Like I said, if you guys have got any other classes you want me to try out in the game, then please do leave them in the comments, and I will do my very best to try as many of them as I possibly can. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, please be sure to smash a thumbs up, as it helps me out way more than you could ever imagine. And if you have enjoyed today's video, be sure to check out the rest of the channel, where there's a whole bunch of zombies content that I think you guys will really, really enjoy. And if you do go in to enjoy some more of the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications to turn on to miss any more videos that I do post but I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end have a great rest of your day and I will catch you all in the next one in a bit peace